Good morning, folks. Witcher here with another inbox review. Uh, this one is for uh, the Revel Kit uh, 850310. It's a uh, 172 scale uh, replica of uh, PT 109, which was commanded by uh, John F. Kennedy during the Second World War. And uh, PT stands for uh, Patrol Torpedo Boat. Okay, as we can see here, for, uh, you know, Patrol Torpedo Boat. And uh, as you know, I uh, I acquired kits, okay, that has a certain amount of significance and so on and so forth. And this is, is no different. And uh, the funny thing that happened with this and why I acquired this, and it's a skill level too, as we, we'll move up the box there uh, that we've seen the top. Okay. It's, uh, it's a skill level too, so I don't expect it to be that complicated inside when we look in the box. But the Paul and I were discussing... Uh, uh, about a week or so ago, and uh, I had mentioned something or whatever. It doesn't matter how, who mentioned what and what mentioned who. <laughs> um, about the X-Craft, okay? And I had done my research on that, and X-Craft uh, has uh, historical significance because it crippled the Tirpitz, and uh, it did not permit uh, both of them to uh, be in the Atlantic at the same time because, uh, let's face it, uh, it might have made a, a large difference in uh, how the war turned out. But anyways... Enough talking about the X-Craft, let's talk about uh, the PT-109. So, while researching the X-Craft, this thing popped up on my radar screen. Uh, it doesn't have uh, anything to do with any anything, really, because I had Googled the uh, Merit, okay, X-Craft, and uh, so the company was Merit, the, the vessel was X-Craft, and why did uh, <laughs> a PT-109 from Revel show up in uh, the search? Uh, it's neither here nor there, but nonetheless... Uh, this was 17 bucks. okay, so I said, hmm, I want that, thank you very much, uh, plus shipping, so it was uh, really, really insignificant. Uh, there we have the box art, uh, as you can see, and there's a lot of controversy on this particular boat, okay, I spent uh, over three hours there yesterday researching the paint schemes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, uh, it was interesting to say the least. Uh, the box art, uh, we have some side, uh, some side shots there, okay, um... There is a, a Finnish uh, product uh, that's on uh, the ends, but uh, the camera's too close and so on and so forth. And uh, But without further ado, uh, let's see uh, what's in the box. As usual, uh, it comes uh, in all in, in one bag, and we're going to put that aside. The hull uh, was also in there, and I took that out uh, because this is... Uh, the second, uh, the second take of this review, uh, I didn't like the first one, so uh, it is what it is. And uh, as you know me, we started with the paperwork, so we're going to do that. And uh, we'll just move the, the sprue aside for a second. <clears throat> and uh, let's uh, zoom in on this a little bit. Doot, doot, doot. Uh, it's, a, it's in booklet form and all that good stuff. It's not stable because it's only uh, two sheets here. And uh, we have the history of the vessel and so on and so forth, which is interesting. And then uh, we go into uh, what really caused uh, the discrepancy there uh, is the paint callouts. Okay, we got A, B, C, D, E, F, black, blue, copper, flesh, gray, and silver. That's it. No, nothing else. I mean, uh, if you remember the the segment on not all uh, gunmetals are created equal, well... Uh, there's a lot of shades of gray out there. <laughs> it's not black and white. There's it's shades, okay. And uh, so, uh, like flesh, it's that's simple. Uh, copper, uh, that's relatively simple. Black, of course. Uh, blue, eh, you know. And uh, the blue, okay, is for the dungarees of the sailors and all that kind of stuff. So blue jean color is uh, what they're after, and the pale blue. But they don't mention pale blue in here. And uh, silver is silver. So it's it's not too bad, okay. Uh, it doesn't come with a sprue map, but all the parts are numbered here and uh, along with their names. So that, that is a nice thing. And uh, then uh, there's two pages of that. And the, the kit has uh, 57 parts. And uh, step number one, uh, it's uh, relatively simple. Okay, it's just a matter of installing the mufflers, the radar on the bottom of the hull. Uh, then they're installing uh, the shafting, okay, and... Uh, the, the, the struts, okay, and the propellers, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, then step number two to go in and assembling the hull and uh, the stand itself. Okay, and uh, that's uh, not really significant. Uh, step number three, uh, we're starting to build uh, the superstructure. Okay, and there's not a lot of parts to go into step number four. Uh, the various uh, parts there that were going on, uh, the command console and all that good stuff. Step number five, we're installing uh, the torpedo tubes. Uh, we have some figures uh, of uh, one guy manning the gun and so on and so forth. And uh, we see down below, okay, uh, where all these uh, things are going. The various uh, mushrooms, okay, or uh, vents. Step number seven, uh, a few components there. We're painting the figures, okay, and assembling them. Uh, some, we're, we're installing some cleats, okay. We're installing some, uh, some rails, okay, for the rope and all that good stuff. And uh, step number eight, and the boat is done. That is it. Uh, based on uh, what's in the kit and uh, the instructions and so on and so forth, uh, this will be about a two-hour build. <laughs> Uh, not very very complicated compared to uh, building uh, ships uh, this thing will go together okay like a submarine and uh, we'll see it when we get into the kit itself uh, here we have the um, the decals there's not much to them uh, this is all in one piece okay so uh, they'll have to be cut out and all that good stuff to prevent silvering Although they say uh, this is a 2011 kit, okay, it's probably a rebox because uh, here they say it's uh, 2004 that the deck holes were made, so the quality, um, we don't know. So uh, that is that. So we're going to put that aside and uh, we'll bring in the goodies. There's uh, there's not much going on here, and uh, the uh, the entire hull. Okay, uh, I gotta move my lights around here. Uh, it's 13 inches long. Okay, uh, the detail, as you can see, uh, is reasonable on it. Uh, it's got some deck planking and all that good stuff, and uh, we have the sprue over here. Uh, some detail, uh, we do have, um, the unfortunate side, as you can see, uh, is we have, uh, windows here on the cowling or whatever, and, uh, they're, uh, they're not there. I might do some scratch building on that and, uh, put some, uh, some proper windows in there. As we can see, the hull, uh, is bowed. I'm going to zoom out on that, uh, at least once. So you can bring the entire hole in shot. And as you can see that, whoa, baby, nice banana. <laughs> so uh, for those that don't use clamps and all that good stuff, that this is going to be a good choice for clamps. Uh, they don't say uh, too much on this on the inside. And what do... Uh, this is 1963, so uh, regardless of what the box is and what the uh, <laughs> the deco say, uh, it's an old mold, of course, and uh, it is what it is. But for 16 bucks, I can't complain, and it has significance, so it'll just be a nice quick and dirty build there when I need a break of something. And uh, like I said, this will go together like a submarine, so we'll put that aside. Uh, the hull, not much to it. Uh, a uh, nice depiction of where the water line is, okay, uh, that is uh, rather nice, okay, it's easily done and so on and so forth. Um, some flash, okay, uh, but pretty insignificant. Uh, we see where our stern tubes come out and uh, where our struts would go and then our, uh, our rudders. And of course uh, we have the, the position, okay, for uh, the, the mufflers and so on and so forth. And uh, that's it. Uh, this flash here I just removed. That was uh, from the sprue. But like I said, it's 1960. So that's a very old mold, but a very reasonably priced kit, okay, for something. Uh, one of the things that uh, I don't like about Rebel kits is they put everything in one bag. And uh, we're going to gingerly take this stuff out of there. There's only two sprues. And... Uh, as you can see, uh, we have uh, spare parts uh, in the bag, and uh, so we'll put that aside. And uh, viewing through yesterday, uh, there are several components on here uh, that have been damaged. Uh, here's one for, as an example. Okay, you can, uh, if I, depending on how, there you can see right at the base of this pin, okay, it's white, okay, that is stressed plastic, this is crooked. And uh, there's a few components like that. 
Uh, in the bag we have uh, one of the mushrooms that is missing from here. Um, this gun uh, is uh, reasonably uh, shaped and molded and all that good stuff, but the Twin 50s, I'm getting, uh, leave a lot to be desired. No great detail there, they're just there. And, uh, you know, uh, skill level 2, okay, uh, 10, uh, 10 years old plus, okay, it, it, it is designed for kids and so on and so forth. And uh, back in the day, 1963, we weren't using plastic cement, we're still using glue. <laughs> So uh, there we have uh, the cabin uh, deckhead and all that good stuff. And it's got a significant amount of, uh, of nice detail, as we can see. But uh, not overly done. And uh, the components uh, will go uh, together. We'll see how they, they go together and so on and so forth. But there's not a lot to, there's not a lot to them, really. Um, we have some nice detail here on uh, the torpedo tubes, okay, and uh, they look the part. Uh, the name of the boat, okay, we have a tiny dinghy, and here we have our, our mufflers in the back, uh, tiny steering wheel or ship's wheel, whatever. Uh, we have a searchlight over here, and uh, that's about uh, the size of it. There's not much to this kit. Like I say, uh, this kit will go together in approximately... Uh, at the outset, uh, at the outmost, okay, uh, two hours. Why? Because there's not a lot of parts, okay? There's, uh, what did I say, 57 parts, eight steps. Uh, and this goes together a lickety split. I'm, I mean, it's a submarine. The downside of this particular kit is, like I said, I spent, oh, about two or three hours yesterday on uh, start researching uh, the paint colors. And holy jumping Jesus, if I thought that... Uh, I uh, created a monster, okay, with uh, the Sackville. <laughs> you know, that is a little different. I mean, uh, the paint colors, okay, leave a lot to be desired. Uh, although it does, uh, this is, depending on what squadron you were, okay, how the boats were delivered from the factory. And this is, uh, I think it's an Inco or some of that. It's an 80-footer, okay. And uh, depending on... Um, what uh, what was what and who's who in the zoo and as we can see right or right, clearly right here okay in the command and control center uh, those are windows okay but they're not and that's probably what they were painting silver okay uh, on the model and we have some windows here some interior windows in the cabin so because this is such a short build I might uh, just turn around and uh, you know do those up and uh, I got clear clear like sand and all that that where we can do those up and uh, it is uh, what it is. It's uh, it's an interesting kit. Uh, uh, they, they, I've got a modeler that uh, modeled uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, uh, the PT seventy three. Okay, and, I, and I'll ask him what his colors were and all that good stuff. And that boat wasn't great either. Okay, the one that he modeled. So uh, see if we can't come up with uh, anything because uh, no paint callouts. Uh, I've found several sites where. Uh, Buddy Bill 2 and uh, he used certain colors and all that good stuff but he doesn't show pictures because he's got three types of green so I believe he did one of the camouflage patterns and uh, Kennedy's boat was either green or it was gray it wasn't camouflage okay that is that is definite and that is something uh, uh, that is known and uh, that's that uh, the other thing, too, uh, that uh, I noticed here, and uh, I'd have to get an accurate picture of a PT boat. We have a torpedo tubes both facing forward. This one here, okay, uh, has been shot. Okay, it's not like, uh, they're not on turrets like uh, modern uh, torpedoes are and so on and so forth. They're bloody well attached to the deck. Um, unless they only fire two torpedoes at a time and then uh, they move these, okay. But... Uh, there's no crane or jib or whatever to move uh, these torpedoes. Um, so um, these two become, at the rear become useless unless they're spinned around, okay, where they can fire off the stern. Uh, don't know. I'll have to do some research on that. Uh, nonetheless, um, uh, it, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting subject. It's going to be a quick, dirty bill, like I says, when I need some relaxation uh, where things will go together. 
Uh, I've did some uh, some rebel kits in the past. My Typhoon was one, which is an excellent build, and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, the Type Seven Charlie U-boat, okay, it's is also an excellent build. Not too many problems with that. So um, I don't expect uh, too many problems with uh, with this one and all that good stuff. It's definitely not a Tamiya kit, but it's definitely not uh, some of the the other kits that are out there. So uh, that is that. Uh, PT uh, one hundred and nine uh, and. Everybody does uh, Mikhail's Navy uh, PT-73, and uh, no, I'm not doing that. It was a popular uh, TV series and so on and so forth, a TV show. I'm going with uh, John F. Kennedy Boat Why? Uh, he was the uh, probably uh, the best president of uh, that the United States ever had, okay? And unfortunately, he was shot for his beliefs. Without further ado, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Switcher, signing off.